Would finishing in second place mean anything to you apart from the Champions League place? Yes. To finish second is better than finish third, and to finish third is better than fourth. And fourth obviously is better than <coughs> than not being in top four and not going to the to the Champions League. Uh, the second position is very difficult, but it's possible. The first position, I think, is impossible. The second position, I think, is possible, and we have to fight. We have to fight for it. But um, the Europa League is is a very difficult, but is a target for us. And um, if we beat Rostov, and we find ourselves in the quarterfinal, then we have to think really seriously about the Europa League. Because in this moment, we are still in the last 16. Last 16, you are still far, you know. But when a team gets in the last eight and you go to the quarterfinal draw, quarterfinal, you smell the final. Quarterfinal, you smell the final. And then, in a certain period of the season, I have to analyze my team, my players, the conditions of, of everyone. And if I have to make uh, choices, I have to make choices. But obviously choices mm. that I would always share with my owners, with my board. But it's not for now. For now is just play. Play against um, Bournemouth, play against Rostov, play against Chelsea, play against Rostov again. And then let's see how we are in all the competitions and try to make the right the right decisions. Yeah, do you have any issue with what Ronald Koeman said about Rooney? He made it pretty clear he wanted him. No. He's still your player. Do you not have a problem with that? No. He told the same for two months about Memphis Depay and then Memphis Depay went to Lyon and they didn't make any offer by Memphis Depay. So for me, no problem. In terms of all the different fixtures you have, are you able to sort of plan teams for particular fixtures or is it just too complicated to be able to do that? You know, sort of for the next week or two weeks? So, so. De details. I would say just details. The player that you feel cannot play three matches in a row, you have to think if he cannot play three, which one he rests. The player that has a small injury but can play, is better to play and risk or is better not to play and then you save him for the next for the next two. This kind of this kind of, of situation, yes. So if you ask me do I know something about Rostov? Or I start thinking about Rostov um, tomorrow after Bournemouth, I know a lot about Rostov. I I had to do my work exactly because of what you say. How Rostov play, how do I think I'm going to play against Rostov, which player can be fundamental for me there, so maybe I don't play him against Bournemouth, or maybe I don't play him against Chelsea because I have Rostov two days after. I have to think about different matches at the same time. I have. Jose, you've rotated quite heavily at left back this season. Is that still a position that's up for grabs for a player? You know, I, I think I have the best right back in the world and I, I rotate a lot in the right back position. I think Valencia is absolutely phenomenal and we played this season, we played Valencia, Damian, Ashley Young, Eric Bailly, Timo Fosumensa, Axel Tuanzebe. I had six different right backs on the pitch this, this season. So sometimes you do it by by circumstances. We have, in 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 practical terms, we have lots of left backs. Yeah. Doesn't look like, but the reality is that Blind, Shaw, Marcos Rojo, Damian, they 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 all are playing left back and they all can play left back. They are different players. They are different players. Um, I think the one that should be in a couple of years the best of all because potentially he should have 
all the conditions to be the best of all is look shop by by age by physicality by intensity by aggressivity going forward he should be the best but to be the best you need to work you need to work hard and this is what he's trying to do a lot of talk recently <coughs> excuse me about Marcus Rashford going to the under 21 European Championships this summer would that be beneficial to, the, to him or do you think it'd be a, a backward step I don't know what to say really I don't know I know that if the team goes until the end in different competitions I think every one of my players should finish the last game and uh, disappear to some to some place where he could rest for a month and don't think about football and don't move one leg and just move the arm to get the glass and disconnect totally. But no, he's a young guy. Maybe every experience, if he's not exhausted, every experience maybe can can help him to be a better a better player. So let's let's wait and analyze the situation when the situation comes. When you okay, say, last question. When you say in the next market you're going to get uh, players that are going to move up a level, move your team up a level, what are you looking for? Is it greater pace, more goals, defensive stability? I cannot tell you. The only thing I tell you is but that... generally, I mean, you know... No, I don't tell you. The only thing I tell you is that um, the job of my board is going to be difficult, but at the same time is easy is easy because I give names. I'm not giving what you are asking me. Qualities, uh, positions, I give names. The difficulty is to get the names. So they have easy by one side, very difficult by, by another side. Normally the perfect market doesn't exist when you establish targets, it's very difficult to get exactly what you want, especially nowadays. But um, we want to improve. We need to improve for the next for the next step. We lost players, players that were not very important in our first choices. But we lost the pie. We lost Schneiderlin. We got no one. Um, and obviously, end of season, every club, there are always two players to go in, three players to go out. <coughs> that's that's normal. So it will be something, something normal to improve our team globally. I'm not saying we have to go exactly for that for that position. No, globally we have to improve. Like everybody else, will improve for sure. Okay, guys. Thank you, Thank you guys. <laughs> It's tomorrow. No. Um, thank you. He's the only one that is out.